Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first edition of Shattered Saturday. And it's a very special Sunday edition, which means I'm fucking up already on this show. Yeah. But, no, I decided that we're going to do it on WrestleMania Sunday. As you can see, I'm wearing the Dolph Ziggler shirt. He's got the WWE Heavyweight Championship, currently owned by the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Now, the reason we got the title belt out here, we're going to have four different drinks that we're going to make tonight, or today, and one of them is going to say it's the best drink of the day. We already made the preparations for one uh, that I am lovingly called Bella's Blue Balls. As you'll see the Bellas tonight on WrestleMania. They give you blue balls. I was going to say, the ring entrance gets you excited, then you watch their match and it kind of goes downhill. Yeah, she can't do nothing with them. Anyway, it's to make this, we're going <laughs> to make this, we're only going to need a few things. Um, lime slices and ice in your glasses. Need your lime for lime juice. Malibu rum. Good stuff. Blue Curacao. And your regular captain's rum. So, to make this... We're going to go with an ounce of each. But, an ounce of your Malibu and an ounce of your Captain's. Both, because we're professional. And then, pineapple juice. We do add our pineapple juice. Tony, you are our official taster for today. You are giving away the championship belt, correct? Yes, I am. We add some pineapple juice to that. Shake it up real nice. I just noticed I forgot the lime juice. How can you forget the lime juice? Oh. Oh, Yes, you are. That's why I get the most. It's all right. Add our lime juice. Just like that. The beastly lime. It's very hard to crush. It is, uh, yes, a non-cooperative lime. You don't see that very often. You got a really uh, cooperative lime over there. There we go. Had to stand and give it a little bit more force. This usually doesn't happen. No, unfortunately, you have a more cooperative lime. And then, the coup de grace. Blue carousel. You float a little blue carousel. Gives it that. It's gonna give it a nice color. Just with that. Float a little bit. Probably not using the right glassware for this. Probably not. And that's actually got a really nice color to it. A little like bluish green hue to it. How does it look color wise? Looks nice. I think it looks nice. Give it a shot. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean give it an actual shot, but okay. What do we got? That's good. Not too strong. Very good. Ooh, I, I do like that. I like that a lot, actually. I, I I naturally like Malibu drinks anyway. All good alcohols. You can get them at your local liquor stores. Not all, but by the way, most of the time. Since we're doing four, um, I'll put a disclaimer on this. Please drink responsibly. Be 21 before you do this.
Tony, are you ready for the next drink? I am ready. Do you like Kofi Kingston? I do like Kofi Kingston. Are you a fan of the New Day? I am a fan of the New Day. Do you want to do this drink for the New Day? Yes, I do. Let's do this. Tony, tell them what this drink is called. This drink is called Trouble in Paradise. Hey, an homage to Kofi Kingston's finishing maneuver. We're going to do it a little differently. It's a great move, by the way. We're going to do it a little differently. This drink calls for Fireball Whiskey. Uh, we're going to take it up a notch, and we're going to do a little sample of which one tastes better with it. Fireball Whiskey... Or Jack Daniels Tennessee Fire, which just came out recently available in Massachusetts. And the way I'm going to do this is we got two ice cubes in here, one ice cube here. The one with the white ice, one ice cube, is for the Tennessee Fire. The one with two is for the Fireball. And of course, to make this, you need Malibu, Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey, and orange pineapple juice. You can use fresh orange, fresh pineapple, but I'm ratchet, so Welch's will do. All right? It's all the same. So, one ounce. One ounce. Okay, so we're going two cube first. Two cube. Fireball in here. Alright, two cube, one cube. Why well, make two drinks when you, one drink when you can make two at the same time? This is true. Jack fire in there. I know you wanted to smell this. Oh, I did. It actually smells really good. Wow, that is awesome. By the way, we're not supposed to condone drinking, but whatever. Two okay. ounces of the orange pineapple juice. It's all you young people out there that go to parties. Don't do anything stupid. Shaking? Huh? Don't want to be shaking here? Yeah. Okay, I'll shake I, this. No, one. no, oh, I got it. I guess I'm not shaking anything. I don't trust you. You don't trust me. This one is again fireball. This one went from a one taste test to a two. Just and and by it. the way, because we're doing two. That is why we've poured significantly less, considering our last drink. It's splashy. Because I am the taste tester. Well, hey, I actually considered that was good when you left the room. I jumped in here. Sure. Okay. It kind of looks good. You should see it. <laughs> One ice cube, Tennessee Fire. Two ice cubes. Fireball whiskey. Which one do you want to try first? Let's Ooh. do the Jack. No, do the Fireball first. You're more familiar with it. Okay, I guess we're doing Fireball. We'll do the Fireball first. It's got a good color. It's got, yeah. Kind of looks like a bear color, if you ask me. Yeah. Uh, hey, is this a shot like I'm going to shoot the whole thing? I'm guessing so. It's not bad. It's not, not bad, bad at, at all. all. It was actually really good. I might be a front runner. Don't mind me if my words start sloshing in a little while because he keeps pouring more than what needs to be poured in my cup here. And I just keep down there because they're really good. Fireball on Jack Daniels. Oh, here we go. Jack Daniels. I've been waiting friend. for this one. It's a lot better, actually. Yes. Yes, it is. Actually, that is really good. You don't have that... The thing? This one get, doesn't burn as much. You get the heat, you get the cinnamon, but you don't get the burn. So, I really do like the... This is a mellow one if you want to get mellow. If you want to do the high me. version, you go straight forward. No, 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 no. Look at the alcohol by volume tone. This is a 70 proof. That is only... That's a 66 proof. Okay, but I wasn't... That one has just a cinnamon burn. This one is stronger. Understand. Yeah, that's this the hype... One will, this one right. will fuck you up. Okay, that's the hype stronger. This is the hype if you want the heat. So, what, what do we got for final thoughts on this drink? Final thoughts? I thought they were both good. I liked how the Jack Daniel ones was like mellow and a lot, strong, a lot stronger, but it was awesome. I, I, could, I could see myself... 
drinking the Jack Fire in this mixture a lot more. Yeah, I like them both, though, because I'm a big fireball guy. Did we do Kofi Kingston proud? We did Kofi Kingston proud. I think he would like this drink. All right. We'll be right back. Going to do the next drink. Going to set everything up. Consensus being, uh, we like the Trouble in Paradise. Yeah, the Trouble in Paradise was awesome. Okay, but we gotta move on, and I know one of your personal favorites, Rob Van Dam. The whole fucking show. That was gonna, now yeah, we're drinking, so this ain't gonna be a kid's show anyway. But, <laughs> the night, we're gonna call this drink the RVD 420. And for you who knows the promo, RVD 420 says, I just smoked your ass. For this, you will need some blue curacao, Captain Morgan spice rum, or any spice rum will do, Malibu rum or coconut infused rum, um, and Midori or melon liqueur, because none of these are paying our bills. Anyway, so, fourth of an ounce of each. I think this drink's gonna be freaking amazing. Just to throw it out there. And splash. Sweeten this out. This shit smells like fucking sour patch kids. It's awesome. By the way, and some pineapple juice. Still looking forward to the sour patch kid tasting thing over here. So I'm gonna add a little sweet and sour, a little bit more Midori. Yeah, thumbs up on that. Oh, for those, I am an amateur bartender, but I will also do it professional style, just for some of you. Turns a really cool color to it. That is the color we want. There's more in there, right? A little bit, yeah. Pour it in the damn glass. Still have one more big boy to go. I know. We'll pour it in my damn glass. <laughs> I just got the blue curse out all over myself. Anyway, the reason why this is called lovingly the RVD 420 I Just Smoked Your Ass is because the color of it. Of that color. It is a nice, deep, dark green color. Um, now, what, what kind of plant would you kind of consider that looking like. It looks like a weed plant if you ask me. Yeah, uh, this drink is tend to be known as the uh, the liquid marijuana drink. Um, it's very common. Most bars know of it and know how to make it. So this, I expect, is going to taste really good because it has an actual real drink. So that's something I pulled out of my ass or found online. Okay, let's try this drink. Cheers. Cheers. That is the whole effing show. That was actually really good. That is really good. <clears throat> For future reference though, I'm gonna go with maybe just a little bit a little bit less on the pineapple. It's very strong pineapple-y. Yeah, a little less on the pineapple. Because I can taste the pineapple a lot. I think but you do you do get the you get the Malibu right towards the if, end uh, and the I, spice rum. If I, if I go up on anything, I think I go up on maybe the sweet. Eh, the recipe says splash of the sweet and sour, so I'm not gonna jeopardize that by going further. Plus, I don't want to lose that beautiful, beautiful dark green color. I don't think we would though. I I like the color. The color is what sells the drink, obviously. But it is a fantastically good tasting drink. It's a very good drink. We'll be right back. We'll have the last one, the main event.
might hurt. We are back indeed, and it is time, or as I like to say, it is main event time. Well, not yet. We're not going to give that away just yet. We have our final drink. Um, this is actually something I make a lot, surprisingly. Um, so I don't know if it's going to be really something that we're going to pick as a, as a winner, because we already know what it tastes like, yes. but um, it, is a, it is incredibly strong. Um, based on the alcohol you use for this, and it is rightly deserving of the nickname that I have properly given it for today, The Beast Incarnate. Known as the WWE Champion, Current as of right now. Brock Lesnar. And that is because we're using a beastly alcohol, Bacardi 151. Be very cautious, um, very cautious with this. It is flammable, so if you are near an open flame and you have this, you're fucked. I suggest don't. Um, so yeah, it's a very simple. It's probably the simplest drink we'll make today. Uh, it's just a Roman Coke that's incredibly strong. And with every good Roman Coke, you put some wine in there. Need lime juice. He's gonna squeeze. He's gotta get up. Get a little muscle down on it. No, this is much better lime. That is a, you got a lot of lime juice out of that, buddy. That is a much more cooperative lime. That's because that other one was rock solid. At the beginning of the show. This one's a much better lime. Now, you can use any kind of Coke, Coke, Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi. Doesn't really matter. It doesn't really taste this, make any much of a difference as much as. Uh, you can use regular Pepsi. You, Tony will be using regular Pepsi. You can use regular Coke, knockoff Coke. I'll be using Diet Coke, <laughs> Diet Pepsi because. Pour these into the glass. I prefer that. There's always a little left in the can for you to. Yeah, I mean, if you want to make it progressively weaker, you can just keep pouring more and more and more. But I'm not that type of guy. Yeah, what fun was that is? We've been drinking enough anyway. So, I like I said, I don't think this is going to be a front runner, but just just for shits and giggles. Here we go. To you. Cheers. To the rem defending, reigning. No longer and, champion. Well, that's your opinion. Yeah, that is strong. That is... Delightfully strong. Woo! It's worth the woo. And it is a drink that will knock you on your ass if you have a, more than one or two of those. So I don't recommend drinking more than one or two of those. And even if you think you can uh, handle it, yeah, don't don't try. It is 75.5% alcohol by volume. You'll get fucked up. So. Since I already can tell that's not going to be my top front runner, what is, what do we think of for today's winner? I was really thinking about it, and if it came down to two top twos I had in mind, I really like the RVD. Yep. And the Blue Bella. The Bella's Blue Ball. I like those two. You I thought I'd go with my cinnamon. Side, but I have to put that. In See, the I, I, I'm a little different. We agree on one drink, and that's the RVD 420. But I would have to. I but my for my second pick, I have to go with the the Trouble in Paradise. That was actually surprisingly really good. If I have to give, I think because we both agree though, I think we're gonna give it to the RVD 420. I just smoked your ass. Congratulations, liquid marijuana shot. You are the champion of today's episode, folks. Enjoy WrestleMania, drink responsibly, have fun, have a blast. Don't get angry over what happens, because you're going to watch anyway on next Monday night. And join us next time we do this. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And this was a lot of fun. This was a lot of fun. Hope to see you next time.